Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop for another 10 minutes of action-packed excitement on Bob TV. Alright people, I just had to show you this. I've been piddling with my hydraulic system. Okay, I got my air cylinder hooked up, that's it down there. And that's the, let me give you a little better place up here. Okay, this is my accumulator, my switch, my pump, and my valve, my air cylinder. This will all run on a 4.8 battery pack. Okay, I got it plugged in. And watch your work. See now that air cylinder is actually working. Let me... See, it ain't that slick. I got it going from the tank. Okay. Into the pump. And out of the pump into my homemade accumulator okay and it's teed off going from that homemade accumulator to my in valve okay and that in switches this out is one's up and one's down okay both of them just on the out and the drain then they, they drain back into this tank see I got these two out to the tank teed right here and then go back into the tank so it's always drawing fresh oil out but now my problem is I got some air bubbles in here and as soon as I get these air bubble system or figured out it's going to work good see the servo moves that bam it's moving it's actually started to move before the pump even kicks on because that spring it's forcing it. See, watch. I'll flip the switch. Ready? Go. Because the spring is actually pumping it. You know what I mean? I think I'm going to need to put just a little bit tighter of a spring then on it. Because, well, this is probably mostly the air bubbles too, I'll show you. Wait for it to finish pumping. I'm going to squeeze it a little bit, but that's probably a lot of it air. But you can also see it moving there. You gotta really push it to see that move. You see it? But then again, uh, how much pressure do I need to work them gear doors? You know what I mean? I mean, once they're down, they're down. Once they're up, they're up. But all these air cylinders should move about the same time, you know, because once it's all. Once the system's filled, as soon as it starts moving here, it moves here at the same time. You know what I mean? So it'll hit all them air cylinders at once. That's my that's my thinking anyway. Now when it's hooked up with all that line and all them air cylinders, the pump will probably run a little bit more but not enough to get warm or anything. What do people think? You think that'll work? Think if I get all them air bubbles out of that system? Put a little bit stronger of a spring. I don't think I need to go with this heavy, heavy thing. That's just too much. I can even hardly push that down. But that one is just a little bit stronger than that. Whoop, that one was flying. That one was too weak anyway. But uh, I think if I put me a little bit stronger spring on there, and then go ahead and let that cylinder back bottom out and move my switch right there exactly where it bottoms out. That'll keep it from compressing anymore. You know what I mean? Because see, I got, I got a little bit of a compression left right there. So maybe if I move my switch down just a frickle, put me a little bit tighter spring on there. See, this is just experimenting, you know, 
so I get one figured out. I got some bigger air cylinders, but I don't think I'll need to do that. That's a lot of volume right there to move them cylinders. What do you think, Butch? You think this will work? Just slicker than a slug on a wet rock right there. Nice smooth operation. Huh. Well, we'll see. I'll tinker on it. I'll tinker on the rest of that stuff. Let's see. No, I'm, I'm gear doors is pretty much done. I need to move on. Go ahead and get. I'll get back on these. I just had to make that thing come to life. That's cool, ain't it? You want to see that one more time? All right. Let's see, here's my problem, I think, now. See that little bitty air valve? I got all this great big old line, and that's got them little bitty holes in it. So if I had a high volume air valve on there, they'd work better. And plus, I just got them two little tanks. I just think them little, little bitty old holes on that, on this valve right here, ain't letting enough air out at once. See, they should be coming down a little bit faster. See, I think them hydraulics still be more even. You know, don't you think? This one's going by about 180. Wouldn't really matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> but uh, I just wanted to give you guys a movie, my little pump. That thing is just cool. Just made out of stuff I had around in the shop. Can you believe it? I had to go buy that switch, which is $3. What else did I buy? Oh, that spring was 75 cents. About four bucks. Not a bad deal, but we'll see you guys back at the shop. Same Bob time, same Bob station.